trying to dress like you? I don't know. I'm looking. I just saw you. Your hair looked gray from my car because it's wet on top. Okay, okay. Yeah. Where Sorry. did he go though? That's why we're driving around. Okay, it was raining, but it looks like it stopped for now. Let's see if it holds up. Funny enough, a police officer came up to me too at first. I was like, okay, like what's going on? And basically he thought I was potentially someone who was reported missing around the area. Well, that's kind of new, huh? And what's going on today? I was reading how apparently TGI is promoting their events, whereas you guys know they're supposed to be releasing three different products. This one here, they say DJI Pro. Here's to the dreamers, October 20th, 9 a.m. EDT live event. And they show you the picture here. And interestingly enough, apparently, there was some FCC information and you can see things like the labels and all for two different products. One is for the DJI RC Pro and the other one is said the Mavic 3 Cine. So you can see it at first for the RC Pro, you can see like the label and stuff here. I don't think it really tells much, right? But I guess it's kind of interesting to see that's one of the products that you will see, I suppose, kind of like what they advertised. And as well, for the DJI Cine bundle, you can see the label here as well. It looks like it's for the battery. Other than that, it doesn't really show much in terms of specs and stuff, which we've all kind of seen by now. And it shows here in terms of their test setups. So they are coming soon. I think for most people, it's going to be the cost. How much is this thing going to cost overall? Because it seems like a lot of the manufacturers are raising the prices of the drones. Could be because of things like parts and stuff like that. And I was reading this, which I wonder if it will make people afraid of it. Apparently in Russia, they're going to have a facial recognition payment for things like their transit system. This one says, face pay system for fare payment launched at all metro stations. The new system will allow passengers to pay for travel without contact. You just need to look at the camera on the turnstile. Since October 15th, the face pay service has been launched on all lines and stations of the Moscow Metro. It will allow passengers to pay for travel using a face recognition system. This was stated by the Deputy Mayor of Moscow for Transport, Maxim Lixotov. And as they say here, Moscow is the first city in the world where the system has worked on such a scale. There are more than 240 metro stations. The connection to the service is voluntary only if the passenger finds this payment method convenient for himself. Other payment methods will not go anywhere. I know they say that, but I think it'll just be a matter of time where stuff like this will be the standard. I mean, just in terms of security, I guess, on what freaks people out. If you go to China, in a lot of cases, the cameras are everywhere. People are ID, like a social credit system and all that. I guess that would be people's fear. Or what people say at the same time, it's a lot better this way. Digitize everything, no more paper and so forth.
right. See you guys later.